Hi. Um, I moved the camera a little closer. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. I've had some comments uh, about that. I can't figure out any other way than switching cameras because this one doesn't have an external mic on it. But we're going to make a small uh, miniature box today out of um, Coco Bolo. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. I just uh, hot glued it on again. It's all set up. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, true it up. fingernail gouge. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and hollow out the inside of it. I'm just going to come in and set the tannin on it. I'm going to go ahead and come in and set the, the wall for the tannin here. and sand it up. Just finishing up with uh, 600, and I had a question about the sandpaper. Um, I wipe it off in between each grit, just get it all all cleaned out as I go as I go through them, and then reapply it to the new piece of sandpaper. So just try to wipe off all the excess wax on there. But that was the last last one I'm going to. But all right, and I'm just going to part it off here. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and make a tenon and remount this and uh, clean up the top here.
All right, have the tenon turned down, so we'll just go ahead and, and pop the lid on there. And then clean up the top of it here. We'll just sand it up. Grits again. I turn the lathe speed down a little bit. All right, and then just finishing up with uh, 600 here. Alright, then we'll just go ahead and uh, shape the outside and hollow it out. Give your shape down and then go ahead and hollow it out. Just gonna get down in there a little bit. Hey, it looks like we're starting over. <laughs> um, I was trying to get back around the corner here with the, my tool. It caught and uh, went ahead and popped it into three pieces. Um, so I'm going to use the same lid, but I'm just going to go ahead and turn a new bottom right now. Um, I have had a couple questions. Perfect time to explain something. Um, had a couple questions about the hot glue not holding. Um, or, you know, concerned about maybe uh, it not being enough. It, like I said before, it will break the wood before the glue comes apart. Just make sure it's good and hot. And it'll, that's, this is maple. Um, it's not pine. It, you know, where it's a soft wood. This is maple and it's still, the glue held before the wood broke. So, I would not worry about uh, it coming off the lathe. Just make sure it's good and hot. And, uh should have no problems but let's go ahead and make another uh, base I was just trying to get back up around that lip with a little scraper there and it it just bounced a little bit and I think maybe that's right where it caught right there and just snapped it in half oh well it's just more time in the shop 
All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and true it up and make another base real quick. Here's what I was doing before. I, I didn't have the camera on when I was trying to clean out the lip here, but I'm just trying to get it, you know, cleaned out back up in here a little bit. Go a little slower this time. There we go. As you go down the down the wall here, you can feel whether there's there's a lip or not, or whether it's nice and smooth. You know, just feel the tool as it as it rides down. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and sand it up now. Just turn the blaze speed back down. And this one's pretty small, so don't don't stick your you know if you're doing a small box like this, don't stick your finger in there and try and sand it. Just you know put a little bit of sandpaper in there like that or something. Don't wrap it around your finger or anything. And again, don't don't sand that that tenon either. lid's already fitted in. Maybe I need to vacuum that out a little bit. Alright, just uh, finishing up with 600. It made it. Clean piece. Bring the speed back up a little bit. All right. off that little nub and sand it up all right there we go just cleaned up cleaned up the bottom by hand and considering that we had to start over not too bad it was all the same piece of wood so I'm gonna line back up and it is oh let's see uh, probably an inch and a quarter inch and a quarter wide and uh, about two and three quarters tall so all right there we go probably see it a little better now um but i'll post some uh, detailed pictures at the end of the video here and on facebook but um thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe